Personally, for me, I think the most important skill that any vegetable gardener can master is succession planting and it actually is a skill it takes a little while to develop and I think that this is because throughout history when we think about a vegetable garden we think about um, rows and rows of vegetables and trying to produce and plant as much as we can at one time and then harvesting it all and then taking it inside and either canning it or freezing it or putting it up for the winter and of course this is because throughout history this is how a lot of times people have fed their families and fortunately today we now have grocery stores at our disposal where we can go to the grocery store and buy fresh vegetables and frozen vegetables and no longer do we have to rely on um, our own production in order to feed our families and so I was first introduced to an idea that I read about in the square foot gardening book and this was called succession planting and the idea is that any given time you should be able to go out to your garden and pick fresh vegetables and bring them inside your home and then prepare them for you or your family and the reason why we're able to do this is because we will plant certain vegetables on a regular interval such as every seven days maybe every 14 days versus going out and planting a one-time crop harvesting it all taking it inside and freezing it or canning it which I think is a wonderful skill to acquire is to learn how to preserve your food however I'd like to touch on just some reasons why succession planting is a practice which is very good for the home vegetable gardener when we can pick fresh vegetables from our garden they are going to have a much higher nutrient value than what we buy at the grocery store of course a lot of us already know this I will leave a link for you below the video an article on some of the uh, nutrient loss that occurs um, after a vegetable has been picked so this happens pretty quickly um, and so once you are at the grocery store a lot of that produce has already started to degrade versus even frozen sometimes you may have seen articles where they say frozen is better than fresh and of course this is true because a lot of the times like I said that produce is after it's been picked it starts to quickly lose its nutrient value and so as a home vegetable gardener we have an advantage this is not true for us because we can go out and as long as you're succession planting you should be able to pick fresh spinach just about um, probably half of your growing season you should be able to pick fresh carrots maybe your entire growing season but a lot of these are the things I've already shown you in my how to grow video and this article that I have below the video for you too it also will touch on some of those specific crops and show you how much say I think they refer to vitamin C how much vitamin C is lost from just fresh storage or frozen and that kind of thing so it was real interesting and so I try to talk about succession planting at least once or twice a year to encourage um, even new gardeners to try to start to um, use this practice on a regular basis because I don't really see a lot of other gardening channels that talk about this and if you can learn how to succession plant you will always have fresh vegetables that you can go and pick from your garden it takes a little while to learn how much you're going to need for you or your family how much you need to plant on that regular basis whether it's a week for some crops two weeks for others three weeks for some others but I have just thoroughly enjoyed using this practice over the past two years it took me a little while and it will you too because um, especially if you're a new gardener or you maybe you've moved to a new climate and you've got to adjust like I did another benefit to succession planting is because we are continually planting crops it might just be you know 16 spinach plants we are also going to pull those 16 spinach plants out when they have become exhausted or they're starting to bolt and usually that's over 70 days maybe depending on how hot the temperatures are so once we pulled that crop out we'll go back in maybe we'll plant carrots behind it and so we're constantly rotating our crop so another benefit to succession planting is a lot of times you won't have to figure out how you're going to preserve your food um, a lot of times in the summer you know when our gardens are in full production it's hard to get around to preserving our food even though we would like to because just 
there's just not enough time in the day. It's a good skill to know how to do that. Um, and you will find there will be times when you've produced too many green beans or you've produced too much spinach. You'll have to put those up or freeze them. Um, and then there'll also be times that you don't have enough produced. Maybe you used old seeds for your succession planting and they didn't come up or something like that. But once you've developed that practice of succession planting, um, it is just a beautiful thing. And so I'm always trying to encourage my subscribers to try to use this. So in the back of your square foot gardening book, there are excellent charts that tell you which kind of crops you can do this. You don't have to do this in a square foot garden. Okay, you can do it in your raised bed, but it's a good uh, quick reference so that you can see which kind of crops you can plant on a regular basis so that you should always be able to go out to your garden and pick these fresh okay um, obviously sometimes spinach is going to slow down in the middle of the summer and these kind of things but that will come in time once you've learned um, your climate and your how long your cool seasons are how long your warm season is okay because some vegetables obviously are going to do better when it's warm I, my green beans I succession plant a lot of those in the summer and I don't do as much spinach let's say in the middle of July okay so but in the springtime when I'm first planting my garden this is why I'm doing this video right now because I know a lot of you are planting your garden I like to leave a little bit of space for my succession plantings that are going to be maybe a week or two weeks later okay I like to plant spinach about every two weeks carrots about every three weeks so I like to not plant out the whole um, garden and that way I have at least about 20 to 25 percent of my garden free for those succession plantings later because it will all start to rotate and they'll, um, it'll all come natural say in the summer I'll be pulling out peas but I'll be putting beans where they were I don't have to worry too much about the summer garden mainly that spring garden when we first start our plantings by seed I like to leave a little bit open I'll also leave a link for you below the video to Johnny's uh, Seeds, their website. They have a really good chart there that kind of touch on some of these different crops and what they suggest that you plant at. So there's two references for you there, the Square Foot Gardening Book and then the link to Johnny's Seeds. So let me share with you how I do my succession plantings. I do not have an irrigation system, so I keep an eye on the weather report throughout the growing season, and it kind of tells me what I need to do in the garden. In other words, if there's a dry day, I don't put seeds out. But if I see that there's a nice rainy day approaching, that's when I plan to do my succession plantings. So even though I may have needed to let's say plant spinach on a Saturday but I noticed that the following Tuesday there was going to be rain I would hold off my planting until then so I like to keep my packs of seeds by my keys or in an area that is not out of sight out of mind because if you put your seeds somewhere you, you'll probably forget to do your succession plantings so I'll put them by my keys and then I can take them with me when I run my errands and then when I'm um, coming back home I'll just go ahead and pop some in the garden I might have to do my green onions and my spinach at the same time or I might just need to do carrots uh, I do not leave my seeds in the car um, all of these seeds that I do succession plantings with um, I will use those within the year so I don't worry about putting them in the refrigerator when I'm not planting them I like to keep them out and they're fine you just don't want to keep them for long storage at room temperature okay so that's how I um, successfully succession plant so if you enjoyed the video please let me know by heading down there and giving me a big thumbs up and feel free to share it on your favorite social media as well um, when you are growing all of these wonderful vegetables you're welcome to head on over to my channel where I have a playlist section and there you can click on it and you'll find a lot of recipes organized by vegetables so it'll give you some ideas of ways that you can prepare these fresh some of these I did cook and of course that is um, does take away some of the nutrient value but you'll find a lot of fresh recipes over there too so thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day mm -hmm.